So here we want to look at uh, another example of a two-dimensional rigid body. And um, here we have a truss uh, being supported by a pin at A and a roller at B. But this roller, as you can see, it's not on a horizontal surface, so it's an, an, at an angle of 45 degrees. The objective is to find the reactions developed at A, pin A, and the roller at B. Here we're going to set F forces that are applied at uh, the truss, set, set it equal to 200 newtons at the end. Uh, just one note before we get started is that here our, our objective is only to find the external reactions at A and B, and later on we'll look at truss problems where the objective is to find the internal forces, so we can find forces in different members of the truss or all the members of the truss. So as usual, we start with the free body diagram. So we know a pin will give us a reaction in the x direction and reaction in the y direction. And again, we don't know anything about the direction, so we assume they are positive. But note that the reaction at B, um, the roller only gives you one reaction, and that has to be 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to the surface. So I'm going to call this F sub B, reaction at B. And now we know that the angle that this guy forms, based on what is given, is that 45 degree angle. Okay, so let's get it started. And as I said, later on we set F equal to 200 newtons. All right, so basically, like a, any typical statically determinant uh, problem, two-dimensional problem, uh, since we have only three equations, we cannot have more than three unknowns. So we start our, with our moment equation. I take a moment about A. I'm going to pick counterclockwise to be positive direction. So notice that there are two components of FB. It's a, a Y component like that and an X component like that. The Y component passes through A, so it doesn't have any moment. So that leaves only the X component. So we call that FB uh, cosine 45, for example, or sine 45. doesn't matter in this case. Times 2. And that's going clockwise negative. And then we have three forces, starting with the one uh, furthest out. Uh, that's going counterclockwise, F times 6, uh, F times 4, the second one. And then finally, F times 2 equals 0. I'm running out of space here. So if you go ahead and plug in for F uh, to 200 newtons and solve for F sub B, the reaction developed at that roller is going to be about 1697. And now all we have to do is to find AX and AY is apply your the other two equations, sum of the forces in X equals zero. And notice that in the X direction, we have uh, AX, and we have F sub B, uh, so the X component of F sub B is this guy, F sub B uh, cosine 45, which is going in the negative direction. So notice that AX becomes positive. So we already know what F sub B is, 1697. So 1200 times, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 1697 times cosine 45 actually becomes 1200. So the direction of AX is OK, and that's 1,200 newtons. And then let me try to squeeze the uh, last equation up here. So sum of the forces in Y equals 0. Pick this to be positive direction. And uh, we have this time the uh, Y component of F sub B. So that's F sub B sine 45. And then, of course, you have AY. And notice you have three forces going down, three Fs. Remember, F is equal to, each F is equal to 200. F sub B is 1697. You can plug in there and go ahead and solve for A sub Y. And I'll put A sub Y here for you. If you calculate for A sub Y, A sub Y actually comes out to be negative 600, which implies that actually A sub Y is six, uh, 600, pointing actually in the opposite direction as we indicated. So here we go. 
and the units obviously are newtons. So three equations, three unknowns, we determine the reaction at the roller and we determine the reaction at the pin uh, AX and AY.